watching Integration TV live from Edmonton. You're watching Integration TV live from Edmonton. Welcome to Integration TV, the first English television for Somalis around the world. I'm Hoden Nalea. Today I'm actually broadcasting live from Edmonton, Alberta, where we're going to get to see about 300 Somali students who are graduating from high school. The community has come together to give them a graduation party. I think this is one of the most inspiring events because, number one, it brings back that commonality for the community and for young people to be recognized and celebrated and appreciated within our community. So I will take you on this journey and uh, give a little inspiring speech as we broadcast live from Edmonton. Vincent. I've got two young ladies that just are joining me, I guess, on our mini red carpet. <laughs> We've got a little Hollywood thing going on, right? So tell me what you love about the event tonight. Um, you graduated? I, yeah. Um, I hope. I hope the food's good because I'm really hungry. But um, Are you I, hungry for knowledge or food? Knowledge because it's power, right? Yes. Knowledge, knowledge is power. power. Um, I don't know. I just hope the night just ends up well. I like the poetry really was really good right now. Um, with Tamir and Omar. Um, what are your dreams for the future? So you just finished high school. Inshallah, I hope next year goes good to like first year of university. Um, I hope one day I can help my family, just my mom, really Aww. just help her out, help pay for the house and stuff, Aww. and like give her a nice car and just give her a nice life, right? Inshallah, and you will do that. It's all about the intention. And what about you? You just graduated yourself. Yes, I did. Um, well, well, what's your name? My name is Amal Jama. Um, the event was actually really good. There's nothing I can hate about it. I mean, it was amazing. The hate? Um, love about it, more like. It. Yeah. <laughs> it was amazing, especially the poetry was really, really good. And I like how they got the audience involved, too. But other than that, it was, everything was good. And like post-secondary, hope that is true. Everything goes well, but yeah. I'm so happy that you guys are like these amazing, dynamic young people who are on stage. Actually, this is probably like one of the best events I've ever hosted, to be honest with you. I felt like everyone was like so connected and so like inspired and want to do better in life. And that's what we should aspire to, right girls? Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining me. We're going to go inside and kind of get interviews inside and have people join us and get uh, highlights. Integration TV live from Edmonton, Alberta, where success is graduating. Yes. What's amazing is that, like, I'm seeing all these freshly dressed Somalis. Okay, what is with you and the pink star? What's your name? My name is Khalid. Khalid. Okay. Yeah. You live yeah. in Edmonton? Yes, I did. Okay, I'm loving this outfit. So stylish. Perfect for the evening. Why did you decide pink tonight? Well, I'm so happy today because I see all Somali people coming, graduate the first time. I never had a mind myself back in the days, but today it is everything that makes you happy. Go for it. Yes, yes. yes. So. so why do you like this color so much? I'm loving the style. Where do you get your style from? Because it's very unique. A lot of people are afraid to wear, right? So wear, it's, it's not about labor. It's just about what you like, what makes you feel good. And that one of today is one of those days. Yeah, you look, mashallah. This yeah. is like style at the graduation. They're probably the best dressed man at the graduation ceremony. Well, thank you. Appreciate that. So how do you love Edmonton? Edmonton is a beautiful city. Alhamdulillah, it's many Somalis, Jafers, and... Uh, Alhamdulillah, I'm so proud to be at my people right here in Edmonton, and it's a great city. A lot of people like Toronto, other cities, but I'm right here, Alberta, Canada, Edmonton City. What do you love about the students here tonight? Well, it is shows that uh, the community is doing wonderful jobs because to give, and to, uh, to give back and to see the wonderful achievements that our youth get, because I myself, I help youth, I'm a youth, a youth worker also, it's like social work, and I... Uh, I see every day the kids are struggle, but to get this uh, achievement today and the community to come together, it is uh, one of the beautiful nights that I've ever been to in Edmonton since 2008. Yeah, I agree. And like I said earlier, this is probably one of the best events I've ever hosted in my entire career of doing this type of work. So thank you so much for joining us. Integration TV continuing live from the Somali graduation of high school students in Edmonton, Alberta.
So hey guys, between Snapchatting and being on Facebook Live, we've been having such a great time in Edmonton, hanging out with Somali youth who are graduating from high school. Hey guys, congratulations. Thank you very much. How exciting is this? Very exciting, graduating the second time. You are? <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? Because we graduated from high school once, Aww. and then this is like a second graduation for us. Oh my god, so what does that mean for you that the community is recognizing you guys? Uh, it's really important and it's crucial for us to realize that we have our family and community standing behind us and supporting us. Mashallah. It's almost like a prom, Somali prom, huh? So. Called the halal prom, yeah? How was the evening for you tonight? Oh, it was very special. Um, I felt really like, you know, like very special that um, being... Oh, you're so shy. No, don't be so So you felt special that people are recognizing yeah. you guys finally? Yeah. Community showing support for young men especially? Yeah. Communities coming together. Mm -hmm. So, what, what did you want to tell people out there about this event? Should we, we do this across the country for every yeah. Somali youth. Yeah, so they can feel recognized and get closer to the community. Yeah. That's nice. So, what's your theme song for the night? I think I know you have a favorite song. Theme song for tonight? <laughs> uh, probably We Are the Champions. Yes. Yeah. That's great. What about you? You had a great highlight tonight? Um, I'm looking forward for the food. Yeah, and the gift card too. Yeah. 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 Okay, so guys, we're live from Edmonton, still uh, checking out the highlights at the red carpet for the Somali graduation event of the year. Yeah. Hey, so Facebook friends, we're gonna take a picture right now, but we're live backstage right here. I'm live on Facebook, guys. So look at these amazing Somali students. I'm so proud of them. Say hi, guys. Hi. We're live around the world to Facebook. I want everyone who's watching to congratulate these young people. Look at all of them. Look at, look at, look at all we of need them. the picture. Come on. Yes, we're gonna do a group picture right now, but I'm gonna go yes. on stage. pictures, everyone. Woo! Um, Hi guys. We're going to get the graduates to say something. Hello. Hi Facebook. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you very much. Yo, am I gonna be famous? Yeah, yeah we're live on Facebook right now. What Facebook. do you want to tell Somalis around the world? What I want to tell Somalia, stay strong, guys. Somalis. Somalis? Yeah. Yeah. How do you feel? Alhamdulillah, I'm happy I'm graduating. As the program needs to continue. So guys, all these students graduated from high school and we're honoring them today. It's so exciting. I'm backstage on stage right now. Say hi girls. What is this? We're live on Facebook around the world. Oh, hi. Take your seats hi now? I promise you guys will take pictures after. So everyone take your seat. Girls, everybody's watching on Facebook. Say hi. Hi. Hi guys. Hi. I do. Let's say hi. Oh my god, hi. Congratulations, say hi on Facebook, girl. Hey. Hi. Everyone, please settle down. Wow, you guys happy to see you graduated today? Yeah. yeah. So happy, happy that you're here, you know? Oh. I know. Shout out to all the Naliyo. Shout out, shout out. <laughs> so this is cool. Look, guys, how amazing is this? Look at all these students. Hi. We love her so much. She's the best, mashallah. So uh, what do you want to tell Somalis around the world who are watching right now? They're all saying congratulations to you guys. Uh, thank you so much, inshallah. We want to motivate you guys to do the same and try your best. Uh, and inshallah, Allah will do the rest. I mean, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Look at all this. Hi, guys. We're live on Facebook. So, graduates, please line up. This is where you guys can oh, hi. oh, Facebook. Hi. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Instagram. Hey, guys. Hey, guys, you guys listen up for two seconds. We're on stage, you guys. Okay. Okay, we're done. I'm live. Yeah. Okay, guys, say hello, everyone. We're getting off stage now. Bye. So, guys, this is so exciting because this is probably one of the best events I've ever done in my life. Say hi, everyone. Hi. Hi. To see all these young, inspired Somalis and who are wanting a better future, right, guys? Yeah, right. So be the Honestly, this made me really emotional tonight, and I'm so proud to be here. And I want to say thank you for joining me live on Facebook. Okay, take care, guys. Say bye, girls. Bye. Bye. We're celebrating Somali student success. Can I please get a round of applause?
We are here in Edmonton, and we are celebrating Somali students who have overcome tremendous odds according to the media, don't you think? But not according to us as Somalis, right? So I'm grateful to be here tonight. Number one, I want to thank the um, Somali Canadian Cultural Society for having me here as a keynote speaker and share my passion to continue empowering young Somalis around the world to take control of their destiny. Um, I'd like to thank the Executive Director Jabril Ibrahim especially for extending his um, services not only just to locally to Edmonton but thinking globally the fact that we could do programs that enhance Somalis around the world just by us setting an example here in Edmonton. So please give a round of applause to the Somali Community and Cultural Society. Tonight I want to talk about three things, um, the importance of education. Many of you don't know, but I grew up in the city. Did you guys know that? I started grade two here in Edmonton, Alberta. I went to Mont Royal Elementary School. I grew up in Rundle Park. <laughs> and the best part of that was that Edmonton, when we came, didn't have the community that it has today. It didn't have the people here who can give you moral support, who can help you become better. Today, basically, I wanted to let you know that I grew up in this great city of Edmonton, which was very welcoming for my family and I of 12 siblings when we arrived here with my parents. So actually, we were 11 then. So 13 of us came on a plane to Edmonton for the first time in 1984. There was probably maybe four other Somali families here at that time. So imagine we came, we didn't have the support that you guys have today to give each other knowledge, to help each other. We basically came to this city that we didn't know winter. It was freezing cold. We didn't have any, I guess, direction and support, except that, thank God, my father, who was um, a governor back home in Somalia, spoke English, which was a tool that he was able to utilize to get us through the school systems, to help us settle, to help us able to get services, and on top of that, he basically sacrificed his life to give us an opportunity called education. And I wanna to talk to young people today on why it's so important that we change our mentality when it comes to the value of education around the world. Um, as Somalis, we have a history of valuing education. I just, just think that when we have kind of spread ourselves around the world, we've lost that value a little bit because of hardship, because of uh, broken families, and because of just poverty a lot of times. So what I want to do is tell young people the way they can reclaim their right to value the importance of education. Because education doesn't just mean getting a degree, right guys? Is that what it means? If you have a degree, are you educated? I mean, there, there's a reason why majority of millionaires in the world are high school dropouts, right? Does that mean they had education? No. So education is more than just having a degree. It's actually realizing the value of thinking for yourself. Don't you agree? So tonight, I want, you, I want to hear you say, education is power. You don't sound powerful to me right now. Education is? Power! <laughs> yes! Who was that? Yes, my hero. Education is power. So um, when I lived in Edmonton, I want to tell you something, kind of a little story that gives you a little idea why, as a young girl at the age of 15, I understood the value of education. And a lot of times we don't understand how the rules are played in this society as Somali community around the world. Um, we come from a great country which I've had the privilege to visit, which I've seen the importance and the value and the opportunity we have in that beautiful nation. And a lot of things that we had back home, we don't have here. Simple thing like having a village raise your children. We don't have that here. You can send your kids outside and somebody else is gonna make sure they're okay. So we don't have those type of community connections. So um, I just remember the neighborhood that we lived in, it wasn't 
the proper in terms of like nourishment for the mind. You know, a lot of times as parents, we are the first educators of children. I'm a mother myself, so I understand that value. But sometimes the environment that we are raising our children in can overpower our instructions at home because our kids are not spending all their hours with us, right? Majority of our kids are either in school, they're in activities, and it's so important that we understand the type of environment our children are exposed to. Yes, we are good parents as Somalis. Yes, we're fantastic teachers of our religion. But guess what? Our kids are leaving our homes and they have a million things that want to change who they are. And I've seen it already because you can see statistics that are happening in our community, how the environment is overtaking us. So I remember telling my dad, I said, Dad, I don't care what you say. I'm going to take three buses and I'm going to be going to Ross Shepherd High School because I want a better life. And <laughs> my dad thought I was the craziest person. He was like, so you're going to get up at like 5 in the morning, get ready, and then take three buses to go to Ross Shepherd all the way from Rundle Park? I said, yes, Dad, because I know I've met people from that school, and they're great people, and I want to be around great people. Who wants to be around great people? Now, that's not to say that Emmy Lazert did not have great people, but again, it's what I'm talking about is environment. We like to tell ourselves lies, don't we guys? Okay, but other communities are not lying to themselves, we are. Our kids are growing up in poverty, they're growing up in neighborhoods that cause a lot of dangers to their self-esteem, that cause a lot of problems in our whole households, that expose them to drugs, to gang activities, to lifestyles that don't respond to the way we were brought up as Somalis. So the only thing that we can do, we gotta start empowering ourselves. Yes, your kids, where they're growing up, has an impact on who they are. And if you keep lying to ourselves, if we keep lying to ourselves as Somalis, and we don't start educating ourselves the importance of our kids having a new vision, a new outlook, exposing them to new ways of life, exposing them to different communities, different successful people, we're going to continue having challenges in our community. So I wanted to, I know it's a little somber to say that, but just sharing that example, I feel like we can, we see the testimony today that our parents here want the best for our children, don't we? I don't know any Somali parent, especially mothers, because I know my mom, God bless her, 12 children she raised in this country. Every day I know she would wake up making ancello, right? <laughs> or malawa, I don't know which one you guys like. Or lalo, is that what they call? I can't. I've learned all the different lingos in every part of Somalia, okay? But the reality is our Somali mothers, God bless them, they want the best. They want to do the best for their kids. But we also need to understand the outside factors. So with that note, I just want to tell you that education is power. Where is my guy who was earlier? Education is power. Yes. And with the right power, you can do more for yourself. And on that note, I just want to say for three things that for education taught me to think for myself. Um, it taught me not to become a victim of society. It taught me how to defend my rights. It taught me how to understand what other people think, to have compassion for other human beings, to know that just because I'm knowledgeable, it doesn't mean that I've stopped learning. I can go back to school at any time in my lifetime and to learn. As you, many of you probably follow my story, but I, didn't, I loved journalism from a young age, and I didn't follow this passion because I didn't have mentors or understand the business when I was younger. So in my 30s, I went back to school to learn this business so that I could empower myself through my community and help my community see the importance of education, but also media, how the media is really stacked up against us in this part of the world. We are becoming the face of a lot of stories in the media that don't represent us. So education taught me that if you start telling your story, you can control your narrative. But if somebody else is telling your story, you don't have control of who you are in this country as Canadians. I just got off stage, guys, and I'm so excited because I got to share my inspiring story to tell young people why education is power. And guess who's here? This is the man who's responsible for this entire event, which I think is one of the best events I've ever hosted in my life, to be honest with you. 
because it made me realize why it's so important the work I do and the work so many Somalis do in their communities. So Jabril Abraham, who is the uh, president of the Somali Canadian Society, Cultural Society of Edmonton, is here with me. Thank you so much. Thank you for you know taking Integration TV to come all all the way out of Toronto to be part of this year's graduation. Thank you very much for that. No problem. So tell us why this event is so important for young people. Well, it is important because this event shows that how, can, how the community can come together and also you know, celebrate the success of our youth and also encourage them to pursue a higher education. I mean, so thank you so much. And I think that all the students were so happy. They're so excited. And just because you've given them this boost of confidence, I think they can conquer anything. Well, you know, what I believe is that what you can do, the sky is the limit. That's, that's what I try to convey to students and everyone else. So that's what they need to know. Awesome. This is Integration TV live from Edmonton.